Hello everyone and welcome to a special edition of Five Questions with Seth. Uh, this one is the 5x50 edition. Uh, what is the 5x50? Is 5x50 my next book? Uh, it is not. 5x50 um, was a goal I set for myself several years ago. And uh, yeah, there's no way around this one. Um, I even tried to have a business trip uh, covering a certain date coming up where I would bypass my 50th birthday. Um, clearly, I, I want the day to come and, and go, but I wanted it without hoopla. Um, I didn't want a party, didn't want friends around, didn't want family. I didn't want a ton of recognition of the fact that I'm actually turning 50, to be quite honest. I just wanted to keep working, keep my head down, keep doing the things I do. Um, but, you know, facts are facts. Um, and uh, I am turning 50 soon. So what is 5 by 50? 5 by 50 was a goal I set for myself several years ago to have five books on the marketplace by the time I turned 50. Um, so the big question is, did I hit that goal? Um, the answer is yes. Uh, I do have five books on the marketplace. In fact, I have 11 books on the marketplace. Uh, so I far sur uh, surpassed my goal. Uh, super excited, super proud of that fact. Ton of work, ton of passion, a ton of fun. Um, and that's uh, it's kind of what we do, right? Um, here's some other vital stats. By the end of the year, um, if all goes right, and there could be some production delays or choices to push things off to the later year, um, but as things stand, I could very well have 14 books out on the market by the end of 2021. Um, I have another four to five books stacked ready for 2022 releases um, in different, uh, spots of editing and production and, and things like that. Um, so yeah, I, I hit my goal, I surpassed my goal, super excited about that. There's a lot more to come. I've got a lot more things to do. Uh, so 50 is just a scratch on the surface for me. All right, here we are, the first question of the day. What was my first book and how did I come to write it? Uh, it's a good question. Um, so my first book was Blood in the Snow. Uh, my first real book was Blood in the Snow. I'll get into that in a second. Um, Blood in the Snow um, takes place following a, a character, Sean Kendall, in the Pacific Northwest. Uh, a little bit mirroring my life at the time. A huge adventure, going in the mountains and whitewater rafting and all those things. Uh, it was actually just having coffee with a buddy of mine. I uh, hadn't written a full-length novel ever in my life. And uh, I was actually passing by a, a Jim Brandenburg book. Uh, for those who don't know, he, he takes like amazing wildlife Photos does a lot with like wolves, foxes, things like that. Anyway, he, the cover of one of his photos is a paw print uh, in the snow, and I'm sure it was just like autumn light reflecting off a leaf or something, and it made cast this really cool look. But on first glance, passing by, it looked like a bloody paw print, um, and that's all it took. It took that one image, and an entire story started unfolding in my head. So, question number two, the second one that came in is, what is my favorite book? This can be interpreted a couple of ways. Uh, one is what is my personal favorite book as a reader? Uh, what is my favorite book as a writer? Um, as a reader, uh, I was a huge Vince Flynn fan. Um, God rest your soul, uh, Vince, we miss you. Um, very much akin to like my Patriot X series, for example. Um, uh, you know, I like some of Clancy's work, uh, Brad Thor, uh, some of those writers uh, back in the day, would be like Stephen Kuntz or um, what really got me reading, uh, I got hooked on Alfred Hitchcock and the Three Investigators when I was in the second grade. Um, so, you know, God bless my, my second grade teacher for introducing us to that series. I, I fell in love with it. I, I, my parents bought me the entire series over the course of several years. I reread that series countless times. Um, all of my brothers, Hardy Boys, even my sisters, Nancy Drews, whatever I can get my hands on. Um, so I was a huge, huge reader. Um, uh, flipping the question, what is my favorite book uh, amongst the ones that I've written? It's really tough, right? It's, they're like, they're all my babies. I'm not supposed to pick a favorite. Um, you know, the Blood series with Sean Kendall uh, could very easily fall somewhere in my favorite category. Um, Finding Christmas, because it's so deeply personal to me. Uh, Back to Carolina. Um, just getting reacquainted with uh, people in my life that I had kind of gotten away from and back to Carolina was a huge stimulus for that. Uh, Dark Chase just because it's fun and, and um, you know, the first setting, I pick settings that are really crucial for it. The first one was my grandpa's hometown. Uh, lots of really good things out there. 
Um, uh, of course, my Christmas, my Christmas books. But, but the I really am torn between two. Um, my two latest series, Patriot X and Penance, uh, I absolutely have fallen in love with. Um, when I wrote Penance, it became my favorite book, and I think I told you guys a little bit about that one. Uh, Patriot X, after I wrote it, it was my favorite book. Um, for editing purposes, I had to go back into the Penance world um, for books two and three. Re fell in love with it, um, but I think I, I think the Patriot X series um, is my favorite. Uh, even now, I say it with question, right? Because there's there's the character arc that happens in Penance is so remarkable. Um, it's tough not to have that one up there, and it, it, it is absolutely up there. So it's kind of a neck and neck race, but I'll, I'll give the edge to Patriot X. I've already written Patriot X number two. I've already outlined three through six. Um, I'm very proud of that series. Um, I'm actually proud of proud of all of them, but uh, Patriot X, I, I think, ekes, ekes, a, ekes a win. All right, uh, third question. Favorite character? I'm going to stick with the books that I've written. Um, favorite character? Uh, I would say it's difficult, but it's really not. Um, I have a favorite character uh, that I've written, um, but I could say it's difficult. Uh, Sean Kendall, for example, uh, near and dear to my heart, uh, big character. Uh, Josh in Finding Christmas. Um, you know, there's some key players. Uh, Ryder Chase in, in Dark Chase is a lot of fun. Um, obviously, uh, FBI agent Alex Penance. Um, and then there's so many really amazing characters in the Penance novels, whether it's Annie or Bubba or um, yeah, there's a bunch to pick from in, in that book. Um, and then even in Patriot X, uh, Gunnery Sergeant Chris, Chris Masters, um, you know, he's a guy that carries a lot of hurt. He's an amazing guy. Um, he's a patriot, um, loves his country, loves the world, uh, wants to do right, um, gets thrown into some pretty crazy situations. Uh, he'd be an easy one to pick out as a favorite. Um, but it's actually a different character in the Patriot X series that's surprised me and become my favorite um and that's uh kate mcbride um she's a uh, not the lead character but she's an important character in the patriot x series and for those who who've read it i think get it uh for those who haven't picked up the patriot x series and you want to figure out who my favorite character is uh, pick it up give it a read and you, you'll see where i'm going with the whole kate mcbride thing number four seth you've written a lot of books um it's been a journey what is your goal with this thing Great question. I think my family asks me that all the time. Um, one is just to tell stories. I'm a storyteller, um, so that's that's really what this is all about. Um, I'm gonna write my stories, get them out there. Um, you know, the the money part obviously is is a key factor, but the 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 money part, like I, I don't have dreams of driving Aston Martins and living in a mansion. That's that's not it at all. But to earn a living doing what I love, that is a massive dream of mine. Um, just on the fun side, would I love some of my books turned into movies? Absolutely. Um, but, uh, really it just comes down to, can I make a career in a retirement, um, purely by writing and selling books? That's, that's my goal. That's my dream. Stick to it. All right. As always, I close up five questions with Seth from a, a writer. And the question that came in is, uh, all right, Seth, um, you write a lot of books and you're starting to write them pretty quickly. How in the world are you so prolific? Uh, truth is, I, I have all these stories in my head. I'm constantly scribbling notes and having journals and, and setting up series long before I ever start writing that series. Um, so I, sometimes I'll have several books in a series kind of already mapped out, um, outlined in a notebook. Um, when I'm ready for it, when the time is right, uh, mood is right, um, I'll, I'll, I'll go down those ventures. Um, I love writing. Um, some people love, you know, playing video games or cards or golf or watching sports on TV, uh, watching movies. I, I like writing. Um, these, these worlds just get conjured up in my head. These characters get conjured up in my head and, uh, I come up with these stories and I just want to tell them, um, whether anybody hears those stories, reads those stories, whatever. Um, but I, I, I enjoy it. I enjoy the process. Um, I truly fall in love with the characters that I write. Um, I, I, I get immersed in the stories that, that these characters are, are kind of living through and it's now just kind of become a part of me. So I'll, I'll wake up in the morning and I'll write while the house is quiet 
you know, I'm usually working and doing other things throughout the course of the day. And then I am, um, you know, sometimes writing in the evening when I have time. And, and to be honest, anytime I'm left alone, uh, <laughs> I, you know, if I'm on a, on a business trip or something, I'm writing. Um, that's what I do in the evenings. I'll go to, uh, you know, spend time at a coffee shop if I have space in the afternoon, um, find a, a nice setting to sit down in a park, a beach, a balcony, whatever I can get my hands on and start writing. Um, so I'm, I'm always working on a book. Um, sometimes I'm rarely working on multiple books at a time. Uh, if seasons clash, I'll sometimes stop writing a book and work on another. And as ideas come up with the book I was writing, I'll, I'll jot them down. Um, but I'm always working on a book. Um, and I do kind of write with seasons in mind. And now that I have a few series that are starting to compete for my time, I'm trying to be really careful with how and when I write those those series. Uh, and, and I treat it as a business. So writing for me, um, you know, is my passion a hundred percent. And if I never got paid a dime, I would still do it this way. Um, but to be able to get my, my books written and completed and into production and out there in the marketplace, I do have to treat it as a business. So it's, I schedule time in and, and, you know, I write, is it fun for me? Absolutely. But I, I wish we could all have fun doing what we do for a living. So, uh, that's mine. Um, that's how I've become so prolific. I, I love writing. This is my life. Um, and, uh, I enjoy the heck out of it. Uh, with that, um, five questions with that, Seth, the five by 50 edition. Um, look forward to seeing you on the next one. The one's coming up pretty quick. And, uh, I look forward to a dozen more of these books coming out in another 50 years, as long as they and competent and know what I'm saying and you know all that good stuff. Anyways, see you guys soon. Take care.